Hello, I'm Nicolas Bleret from the iCare company. We are the builder of the WeCare wireless vibration monitoring system. All of it is to monitor permanently on site, on your equipment, the vibration and the temperature and to allow uh, the diagnostic of the spectrum of each measure point and to allow from the diagnosis of this spectrum um, to prevent any catastrophic failure and to reduce the downtime of the equipment. The system is basically, basically based on four different components. The main component is the monitor, okay, which is based on a sensor and a wireless transmitter. A good thing to do when you receive your monitor, which appears exactly like that, you throw it away which is definitely the switch of the equipment. I just switch on the equipment and it's already sending vibration and temperature data, including a spectrum, to the gateway. Okay? What is the gateway? The gateway is the brain of my equipment. He's the receiver. He's the organizer. So he's collecting and receiving the data from the transmitter He's receiving the vibration and the temperature, okay? He's also organizing the network because, of course, the ID is having many of these sensors around your plant on the critical equipment to permanently monitor the vibration and temperature, okay? So by himself, without any configuration, without any IP address, without anything, he will set his own network around the plant and bring back all the information inside the gateway. When the distances around the plant are quite high, quite long, we use what we call here the range extender, which is the third component in the equipment. The range extender is a relay, okay? He just transmits the information along long distances. Thanks to the range extender, the distances between the gateway uh, and the range extender, we talk about yeah, something around 100 meters in a normal industrial area. The fourth component is um, the website itself. Okay? You can have a look there on the screen. I'm actually connected with my computer to the website. So the gateway itself can be connected to internet with uh, an ethernet cable or it can be connected to internet with a 3G connection. It comes directly, 3G prepare, 3G ready. These are the main four components. He collects the data, he collects spectrum vibration permanently installed on the equipment. He manages the network, he receives the data. If it's necessary, I can transfer the data over long distances. And the website is really the interface between the human being, the guy who's going to do the analysis of the spectrum and who's going to give you the report and the recommendation uh, with the things you do, do you have to do uh, on your equipment. From the website, you can at any time control the gateway, changing the uh, rate uh, of data acquisition, changing the Fmax of the spectrum, so managing completely your network. One of the very nice features of this WeCare product because it's completely web-based, you can have access, anybody of your team, of your uh, plan can have access with a login and password to the data. Rather, if uh, you are actually uh, eating with your family at a restaurant, or if you are on the beach, or if you are on holiday, or if it's Sunday, and you are traveling around or at the airport, you can have access with any kind of tool, a computer, a smartphone, uh, any kind of device connected to the internet, you can have uh, your data. I will show you quickly another two nice features that we really like with this WeCare product. There is on each sensor a QR code and anybody walking around, do you have your smartphone? Oh, I see you have your smartphone. I, can you take the QR code reader on it? Okay. Uh, yeah, perfect. So I will ask you to scan the QR code over here. So imagine you're in the plan, walking around, don't have a lot of training about the vibration, but you want to have the data. So can you please scan it? Okay. Yeah. So what, what happened now directly on his cell phone, he just scanned the QR code and directly he's redire redirected on the web page on this particular sensor, which is uh, one of our demo sensor with a 
number one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. But what is in very interesting, even on a cell phone, he's got directly um, the battery remaining inside the transmitter. He's got the signal, str the signal strength, but he's got also the latest vibration data in speed, G. He's got also a map with the location of where should be installed the sensor. If, if the sensor is installed in the wrong place, he can put it back. He's got a trend about the temperature, trend about the vibration in speed in G. He's got a summary of all the reports. And even better than that, if you select the equipment, he's got the report done by a human being, done by a certified uh, ISO level 2 uh, engineer for vibration analysis. So the second nice feature with the weaker, or at least the feature that I really like, is the fact that the monitor is based on the two components, the sensor itself, but the transmitter. And the very nice things about the Wii Care is the transmitter can be mounted on any classical accelerometers. The one that we have in the industry for the last 30 years, it may be really fast and really interesting to remove the cables you have on previous old system and to turn it in a minute by connecting them with any kind of uh, connectors you need into a wireless monitoring vibration and temperature system. Another nice feature is the gateway itself. The gateway is designed to be mounted into the control room. It's definitely the tool of the operators. Okay? The operators, they, they are really interested in knowing if their equipment are running under control condition if they are running close to an alarm or an alert level. So basically, the gateway always uh, display the latest data and show easily if we are on the trend, we are in the trend, we are under the alarm and alert level, or if we are above the alarm level. When we are above an alarm level that you can easily set and manage with the website, we will have a red flashing line, any signal that you want to make sure that the production team is paying attention that we are running over the vibration uh, level on that particular equipment. About, about how often I'm collecting data, it's typically completely manageable by yourself, directly on the website. On a basic configuration, the week air arrives at your site with a data collection every two hours collecting a full spectrum. And in this configuration, the battery life of the sensor is designed to last five years. You can reduce that time until around four or five minutes uh, data collection frequency. So you will have your data every five minutes. In that case, uh, if you are, for example, troubleshooting a specific event, event uh, you will, of course, reduce the battery life of the system. But who cares, honestly, because you're going to take data for for a special troubleshooting, and then a few, after a few hours, you go back with your routine measurement 